Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel, The Science Vlog. In today's video we are going to talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. In this video we will learn about whole electromagnetic spectrum from its radiations of shortest wavelength to its radiations of longest wavelength. Let's start this discussion with some basics of electromagnetic radiations. What is electromagnetic radiations? Electromagnetic radiations is the energy that is transmitted at the speed of light through oscillating electric and magnetic fields. These radiations are transmitted in the form of waves. We need to understand how do waves travel in space? After that we can easily learn about electromagnetic spectrum. Waves travel in space like this manner. Here the highest point of this wave is known as its crest and its lowest point is known as its trough. We need to know these three definitions for better understanding of waves. That is, the wavelength, the amplitude, and the frequency of the wave. Wavelength is known as the distance between its two successive crests. For better understanding see the diagram. Distance from point A to point B is the wavelength. Next is amplitude. Amplitude is the maximum height or the maximum depth of the wave. In diagram distance from point A to C or the distance from point C to D is the amplitude of the wave. Now the next definition is frequency. It is the main important definition for better understanding of radiation's energy. Because energy of the electromagnetic radiations is directly proportional to the frequency of the waves. Frequency of the waves are called the number of waves per unit time. Here shorter is the wavelength then maximum is the frequency. So that short wavelength is responsible for maximum energy transmission in short period of time. Because of all this energy is directly proportional to the frequency. Now we can start our main topic of this video. What is electromagnetic spectrum? Electromagnetic spectrum is the classification of electromagnetic radiations with respect to their wavelength. As the wavelength and frequency of the electromagnetic radiations varies the energy and other properties of radiations also changes. Electromagnetic radiations are classified with respect to their wavelength on electromagnetic spectrum. Mainly electromagnetic spectrum is divided in seven main regions. The seven regions of different wavelengths are considered to be seven different types of electromagnetic radiations. Let's we see which are the seven different types of electromagnetic radiations. And how they all are different from each other. Let's get started from the radiation of shortest wavelength in all electromagnetic radiations. First electromagnetic radiation is the gamma radiations. It has shortest wavelength on whole electromagnetic spectrum. This radiations has highest energy because of their short wavelengths. Due to their high energy the gamma radiations are most dangerous and so penetrating for living beings. The sources of gamma radiations are gamma decay of atomic nucleus. It radiates after the chemical reactions like atomic fission. Atomic fission normally takes place on sun continuously. And artificially it takes place in atomic weapons. So that atomic weapons can create that much horrible destruction. Gamma radiations has beneficial applications also. In medical science gamma radiations are very useful for making treatments of disease like cancer. The second type of electromagnetic radiation is X-ray or X-radiations. Most X-rays has a wavelength ranging from 10 picometers to 10 nanometers. X-rays wavelengths are longer than gamma radiations. It carry less energy than gamma radiations. But it has enough energy to harm living beings. Whenever charged particles like electrons of sufficient energy hit a material, X-rays are produced. X-ray tubes and vacuum tubes are used to produce the X-ray. X-ray can cross relatively thick object without being much absorbed or scattered. For this reason X-rays are widely used to form the image of internal tissues and structures of human body. If X-ray travel through the body it also passes through an X-ray detector on the other side of the patient. An image will be formed that represents the shadow formed by the object inside the body. Next type of electromagnetic radiation is ultraviolet radiation, which is also known as UV radiations. Its wavelength ranges from 10 nanometers to 400 nanometers. UV radiation are present in sunlight. It constitutes about 10% of the total electromagnetic radiations coming from sun. UV radiations are not so harmful like X-rays and gamma radiations. But it has enough energy to damage DNA. Over exposure of the skin to UV radiations increases the risk of sunburns and also the risk of cancer of skin. UV rays are invisible to human eyes. The formation of vitamin D is because of the UV radiations. Also it sterilizes the surface which it comes into contact. 
UV radiations has both beneficial and harmful effects on living beings. Next type of electromagnetic radiation is most familiar to us. The visible spectrum. The portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to human eyes is known as the visible spectrum. Again visible spectrum is divided in different parts which we call the colors. We can see different colors of light because of the different wavelengths of the visible spectrum. The electromagnetic radiation after the visible spectrum is infrared radiations. Infrared radiations has a wavelength longer than visible light. Infrared radiations are popularly known as heat radiations. All objects on earth emit infrared radiations in the form of heat. We can see the infrared radiations by using various tools like infrared camera. On the basis of how much heat can any body emits we can identify that object through infrared camera. We can use this cameras as night vision camera. Other than night vision there are so many applications of infrared radiations. Like thermography, hyperspectral imaging, astronomy and so many more. Next radiation type after infrared radiations is microwaves radiations. Microwaves radiations wavelengths ranging from about 1 meter to 1 millimeter. Mostly the microwaves are produced artificially. Microwaves are widely used in modern technology for example. In point to point communication links. Wireless networks. Microwave radio relay network. Radar satellite and spacecraft communication. Medical diathermy and cancer treatment. Remote sensing. Radio astronomy and so many more. There are so many applications if microwaves radiations in modern technology. The radio waves is our last and most important electromagnetic radiation. Now the big question arises that why it is important. The most important technology on our present moment is communication. We all know all the benefits of communication technology and all present most advanced communication is possible because of radio wave. Radio waves are generated artificially by transmitters and received by receivers using antennas. Radio waves are widely used in modern communication technology for both stationary and mobile radio communications. Broadcasting, radar and radio navigation systems. And so many other applications. Thank you for watching. If you like this video don't forget to like our video. And please subscribe our channel for more videos like this.